big loop in the upper 30s. Big thanks to Jason and E-Wheels for providing me the ET Max hey, demo. It's weird. Um, hey, Duff here, what's up? You see the uh, ET Max sitting here on the floor beside me? I'm gonna take it out for a quick, uh, quick, uh, what is today, Wednesday? Quick Wednesday night ride, just to, just to get an initial feel for it. Um, nothing extensive, but just wanna take it around the neighborhood and uh, get my initial feelings about it. So let's go. Okay, so I slapped the pads on it. I have no idea if they're gonna be good for me. They're probably gonna have to go further, I would guess, but we'll see. We shall see. We shall see what happens. And we are rolling. Okay, so this ET Max uh, Ronin uh, put the 900 pound, the 900 pound, oh, I don't have my phone. I should probably have my phone, right? Uh, anyways, Ronin, I'll, I'll double back here. Uh, Ronin put the 900 pound spring on here instead of the 1300 pound spring. And I did like a two minute ride last night and uh, just taking those bumps now, it feels pretty good to me. Not because I know um, uh, the California wheel, they were complaining about a lot and, and the um, New York City guys were complaining uh, as well about the, the uh, harshness of the suspension. And this does not feel uh, that bad to me. Like, like, I don't know that I'd have to do anything to it right now. So let me grab my phone and we will uh, reset this. Just watch me bounce over this, this, this uh, lip. Yeah, that feels, that feels good. That feels good, man. And uh, into my driveway as well. I got a, a, a nice big gully in front of my driveway, which uh, will bounce the suspension pretty well. It feels better than the V13 does. I'll give it that. Suspension-wise, uh, right there, I might have bottomed it out a little bit. All right, those pads feel better as far as allowing me to bend my legs, but they're ridiculously fr far front, right? Look, look how far front I have them. I mean, I, I, unfortunately, I think when uh, Bagode and other manufacturers size up pads, you know, they size them for uh, Chinese riders, who are generally speaking smaller than uh, American riders, and they just don't work out so good, but it's okay. This would definitely benefit from like one of those replacement side panels that just covers the whole side. We have more space for pads. And to be totally clear, I could ride this without pads just fine, but I have them on. <laughs> just had this FPL truck act like he was gonna turn into the right, into a street, and I guess he realized he was going the wrong way, and then he just immediately flew back out into the street in front of me. And I cut around him, or I cut to the side of him and allow him to continue on. But we will, we will give him space because he obviously does not know where he's going. That is my assumption. And I should have worn glasses of some sort because I'm feeling the wind in my eyes. I like, I like the uh, front lights on the uh, ET Max. I think they're visually interesting. I mean, the, 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 uh, the visuals of the wheel in general are good it's a, it's a good looking wheel for sure it's visually appealing i would say i'm not going to use the description that marty uses but it's it's uh, visually appealing you know some wheels are not um you know like the uh the Bagode ex20s that was not a visually appealing wheel was it uh but the et max is so this is a hydraulic shock but it has it has a, a little chamber uh air chamber for i think it's for dampening I didn't do anything with that. I didn't check to see uh, how much pressure is in there. So I might need to add some. I, I think you're only supposed to put between like 15 and 100 pounds of pressure in there, not a lot. And we're circling because vehicles are coming. And there's an annoying truck in front of me anyways that I'd like to get further ahead because it's a really smelly diesel. All right, here we go. Although I can probably catch him in no time, right? Uh, yes, the EX30 is fast. We are um, rolling in the upper 30s like nothing. Like nothing. Let's see how this feels in the suspension. Mm. Yeah, okay. I really have the urge to swing out left and just pass this guy. I won't. Oh man, it's annoying. Oh, Jesus. I'm trying to think of there's a shortcut I can take. It's, 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 a, it's a truck that has some sort of uh, liquid tank in the back, so he's going like five miles an hour of the speed bumps. It just, it annoys me, man. So I drove and got Dunkin' Donuts on the way home. 
So I can't do a Dunkin' Donuts ride now. I mean, I could, but it'd be kind of stupid. So uh, we're just kind of we're just kind of cruising the general pathway. I would go to Dunkin' Donuts, but I'm not going to go to Dunkin' Donuts. We're just getting a feel for the wheel, and I can tell you, I can immediately feel what um, they've been talking about. Don't don't cross in front of me, buddy. Uh, this guy was going to cross right in front of me. How the wheel? It's a heavy wheel. It's like what 110 pounds or so. But it doesn't feel that way when you're riding. It feels, and I'm sure it has to do with the tire, it doesn't feel uh, heavy. And I would say, and, and I, I've only ridden the V13 a little bit since I've gotten it, but I would say that this feels uh, more maneuverable, at least in this tire, than the V13 does. Uh, someone asked me if, if, it, if it was top heavy. No, it feels, feels good. Definitely feels good. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, smelly slow truck. Bye-bye. I was wondering, I, I saw when this wheel's in New York that they had the um, E-Rides pedals on here. I didn't know if it was going to ship with that, but no, they put the stock uh, Bugotti pedals on here, spike pedals, and they're fine. They're, they're, I mean, they're, they're fine for me. It doesn't bother me that much. I mean, they're comfortable enough. They're big enough. I mean, we'll see how comfortable they are when I do a range test, but at least my initial feedback is the pedals feel good. Let's turn on the light. We don't want it flashing. That's annoying as hell. Uh, the light does not look impressive. I don't know if you can see it. It does not look all that impressive, but I it's not dark yet, but it just it does not strike me as a impressive light. I mean, I could ride over to the cabana and stuff. Now I don't, I don't want, I got, I got videos to edit. I have no less than three videos to edit. So I can't, I can't be out riding until uh, all hours of the night, even though I'd like to. Uh, acceleration feels uh, very linear and smooth. That's the way I would uh, describe it. Very smooth. Braking, you know, a little bit of braking wobble. What's going on? There we go. I've got to clamp down on it a little bit. Braking is good, as you would imagine, with a 168 volt wheel. I did, uh, when I got this wheel, I, uh, ooh, I um, updated to the production firmware. It had, it had the revision before production firmware on it, so it is now, the production firmware. I haven't taken a look yet to see where the pedals are in this. I think there's what three different positions for the pedals. Uh, I'm not sure where we are, high or low, because knowing me, I would probably prefer low, because generally speaking, when the pedals are lower, you, you feel more stable. When they're higher, it's more agile. You can probably turn it more aggressively when they're higher. Um, so I'll take a look. Doing a big uh, loop here. Feels good. Big loop in the upper 30s. Not bad to control at all. Speed limit 25, sorry. So I'm only going 25. Not really. Bring into a lot of uh, wind. Making it slightly annoying. But uh, I'm heading back, heading back. Got a nice little taste here, and uh, so far, I like it. Now, I've heard other reviewers say this, and I'm not trying to copy them, but I'm just being honest. Uh, one of the things that they said describing this wheel was it's the kind of wheel you can just kind of hop on, and there's not really an adjustment period. And I, yeah, I would tend to agree. It's I mean, even though it's big, uh, I don't feel like you have to kind of learn it like like uh, the V13, for example. Even though it is almost as tall as a V13, I think the batteries are mounted lower, so it's not it's not top heavy like you would think. It feels it feels uh, easy to ride, surprisingly so. It does make an interesting noise when it's running. I asked Ronan uh, if this is normal. Can you can you hear this? Can you hear this? It's interesting, right? He said it's normal. I'm like, okay, good. So, anyways, guys. Uh, that's it for my initial ride, and uh, at least initially, I, 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 I like it. it it's, it's, it's smooth, it's powerful, um, it's easy to adjust to, despite its, its substantial weight. And yeah, I just need to, to run it through its paces from here and see, see uh, how it feels. But at least initially, I like what I'm, what I'm feeling. So, if you guys found this video interesting, please think about giving it a big thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you're going to subscribe, you can hit the notify bell that's over there somewhere. 
Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. What do you think about the ET Max? Are you thinking about getting one? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I, I mentioned a while ago that uh, I was planning to get an ET Max. I kind of verbally committed to it on a live stream and, and at least my initial ride did nothing to um, make me uh, think second or think a second time about that, uh, that promise because it feels good. So that's all I have guys. Look for a lot more ET Max content. Probably it's gonna probably be more ET Max and then once the ET Max is, is out of here, then we'll go back to the V13. All good. So that's all I got. Till next time, tough man out.